warning. The stunt you are about to see is extremely dangerous and is being performed by a highly trained professional. Do not try this at home. Were you involved in a mutual, uh, consensually, as mutually consensual encounter with the defendants that day? Yes. Yes, it was completely mutual. Did the defendants threaten you? No. Did they cause any damage? Did they injure anything, anybody, or cause any damage? No. They, were they just asking you questions? Yes. My job is to determine whether that crime was committed, and I did not arrest you for disorderly conflict. Uh, you're speaking to Mr. Weber, and not letting him get one word in was not the basis for the arrest. The basis for the arrest was you getting a multiple verbal warnings to leave the premises and you refusing to do so. Your Honor, uh, I asked him to leave because the argument was getting, uh, the, his question was answered on how to handle the parking uh, summons. Uh, once it was answered and I felt that he received enough of an answer, uh, before it became into a physical confrontation, I tried to de-escalate him by asking him to leave and separate from the park. Objection, speculation. Verbally assaultive, you had people in front of you you were screaming at, uh, you had a man that was probably in his 70s uh, who you intimidated. Uh, so yes, I would have probably considered that disorderly. Can you specifically point, point out, direct us to anywhere on that video you where I was screaming at him, you were throwing your hands in the air, you were within <coughs> three feet of him, um, all of which would make a normal citizen uh, feel intimidated. Because what you were having with the parking authority was not a conversation. It was a screaming match, which was get, which was borderline becoming an assault. If I didn't say Objection, that. speculation. As he was trying to answer your questions, you spoke over him, you screamed at him, you waved your hands into the air, at which point I thought you may assault hands him. In the air? So I asked you to leave the parking garage. Can you point out in the video where I waved my hands in the air? I'll be more than happy to. Do we need to pull the video back up? Yes, can we? Can you please explain to me who owes this fine? Um, it's written to the Ohio uh, 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 plates. Okay, so are you telling me the car with the Ohio plates owes you this money? Are you telling me that the inanimate object sitting in that parking lot owes you this money? Yes, sir. You've contested it. I'm trying to understand. Did you fill out the paperwork? See, the thing is, I could be guilty. I don't know. So that's why I'm asking you so that I can understand the charge before I pay it. Because you just told me that was my right. Now you're explaining to me that an inanimate object out there is the one that owes you this the money. The owner right? of the car with that license number. And who number, would that be? Whoever the license plate goes back to. And what are, are you the owner? Are you claiming that you are the owner? I'm going to step in for a second. This is the solution. If you don't agree with the parking thing, go ahead. Take no, it to the court. No, I, there's nothing to argue about. When you ask to go to court, first okay, of all, listen you're, to me. When you're telling me you have an obligation to follow your authority to go to the court when you can't even prove it's done your authority? With. You're trespassing this property. Leave the property. You're going no, to we're not. This is public property, isn't it? public property. This is owned by the city of Winchester. That's fine. Okay. Listen to me for a second. No, no, no. no. You listen to me. You work for the public. You need to understand that. No, for what? For asking questions? Leave the property or you'll take it to court. This is your last chance. Take it to just court. Ooh, the you're starting to yell now. Take We're supposed to, to be court. scared. I am this is why we record. Okay. Under okay. what authority are you making such I'm an giving order? You, I'm giving you a chance. Tell me one more time. Okay. Take we were court. told to come here. Okay. You're under arrest. Uh, excuse me. We haven't even had. You were still speaking. I don't consent. We were I still speaking. Are you going to leave the property? You'll yes, to go to jail. I okay, am. I'll the property right okay. now. Okay. We were told to come property. here. They couldn't answer questions. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm leaving right now. You're not leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, so you're saying that because I was waving my hands, I was threatening him. Did you totally miss the parts where he was waving his hands at me or the part where you just waved your hands at me in this courtroom today? At that point, I was paying attention to you to make sure you didn't attack the park. Okay, apartment. so so did you see on the video that he threatened me also? Just from reviewing it now, based on the charges against parking authority, you're welcome to. Oh, I can, but now. Question for you, sir. Yeah, did you see on the video where he threatened me? Uh, on the video, I saw by waving his hands, sir. 
No, I didn't see that. That's you didn't question. see that? Can we play that again? No, we're not playing it again. I saw it. You it saw it. Not a okay. threatening gesture by him. Was mine th any more threatening than his? Well, you didn't wave him in the in the air. I will agree with that. Okay, but so you were very assertive in that. Is it uh, fair to say he's a liar a yet? Wait a minute. Uh, can we accept him as a liar now because he no. claims he doesn't see it on the video, but it's clearly on the video. You've admitted he's on the video. He's saying that I was threatening because I was waving my hands. As a police officer, I like to give everybody a fair chance to, you know, I like to get to the scene and, and kind of figure out what's going on before I just jump to taking action. 